Hello students and welcome to this video for Word Chapter 3, Practice Exercise Number 2. We're looking at page 322 in your textbook. Page 322 in your textbook. So, it's talking about Fitness Matters. As a health sciences graduate, you are coordinating a weight loss and fitness program for a local health club, Fitness Matters. Participants in the weight loss program have each set a weight loss goal that you've recorded in a spreadsheet along with the actual amount lost at the end of the first six weeks. You want to recognize those who have lost at least 10 pounds by sending a congratulatory letter because you already have the participants' information stored in a database table, and you decide to create a mail merge document that you can use to quickly create letters to send to each person who has lost at least 10 pounds. Refer to figure 3.34 as you complete this exercise. So page 322, we just read the info there, and we're going to get started here um, with the exercise. All right, so it says open this one and to save the document uh, with your name attached to it. So that's step A. So I'm going to do that right now, although I do need to change it from a read only. So save as, browse, and I'm going to put this in the folder um, that I'm storing it in. You're storing it on your flash drive. Oh. Except let me cancel that. Be careful you're not clicking on others so you save it with the right name. Okay, so word three, practice two, letter, and then your last name and your first name. So save it like that. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to show non-printing characters if they aren't already displayed. So now they are displayed on my screen. Click before the blank paragraph mark after the second body paragraph. So before it, after the second body paragraph. You can see this is my second body paragraph. Paragraph meaning, body paragraph meaning there's actually more than one line to it. And it says here, click Insert Tab. Click the Insert Tab, so we'll do that. My mouse, I click there. Insert, and it says to choose Table. Drag to select three columns and three rows. So it's basically a three by three box. And click in that bottom right cell. So I'm pointing to it, three by three box. Type Pounds Lost in the first cell on the first row. Then push tab, type level, push tab, type step prize, push tab. So we're just going through and typing in the info. Then complete the table as shown. So 10 to 15, bronze, one free gym week, then 16 to 20, silver, a $100 gift card. That's nice for losing a few pounds. Of course, they're paying for a gym membership, so they're costing them money. All right, step C, point to the top of the middle column so that the pointer is a downwards arrow. So top of the middle column so that the pointer is a downwards arrow. So you can see on my screen it's that downwards arrow. Then it says, click to select the column. So I click once, it selects the whole column, and it says right-click the selected column and select delete columns. So we just got rid of what we typed. Okay, click in the first row. So I clicked in the first row, click Table Tools Layout tab. Sometimes you change it after you, you realize something isn't worthwhile. Click Insert Above in the Rows and Columns group. So Insert Above here, we insert a new row up here. Then it says click Merge Cells. So we're merging our cells. Do you notice we often do that with the first row? Change the font size to 16. So I'm going to go to the Home tab, push up a couple times, change it to 16. Type Fitness Matters exclamation point and then it says click table tools layout tab so table tools layout tab and click align center and we have it lined up in the center just like that all right step D we're going through these here quickly click anywhere in the fourth row so I click on here on my fourth row click insert below in the rows and columns group so insert below in the rows and columns group complete the new row as shown below contents of the last cell on the right will wrap so it may go to more than one so I click down here put that arrow so greater than 20 trail bike from spinning spoke excuse me all right step E click auto fit in the cell size group so I'm looking for the cell size group which is right here and choosing auto fit and it says select auto fit contents. 
which is nice because it changes those cell sizes to just fit whatever the words are that are in there. Click the table tool design tab, so table tools design tab, and then it says click plain table three, so table styles, plain table three. I have my plain tables up here, and you just hover over them till you find it. So plain table one, plain table two, and plain table three. All right, it says right click any cell in the table. So right click any cell in the table, we just did that. Select table properties. I choose table properties right here. Click center, so my alignment group, center, and then click OK. Then what we're gonna do here is step G, click pen color arrow. So up here my borders group, I'm choosing pen color arrow. Select green, accent four, darker 25%. So green accent, you'll notice it's, or excuse me, accent six. So it's gonna be down here, this one right here. Okay, we've selected the pen. Then it says click line weight and switch it to one and a half. So this is half point right now, we're changing it to one and a half. Ensure that the line style option is a single line. So it is a single line there. Drag each horizontal grid line in the table, including the top and bottom of the table to paint each border. So top and bottom. So horizontal means we're going left and right. Oh, let me try this again here. There we go. It may take a few tries to select them. You notice when I click and I drag it across and it actually selects it, it turns gray. So go through and change each one. I have to go close to the corner, um, but you'll notice I'm not actually clicking on the actual corner itself. It's just close enough so it knows it has an idea. Oh, I just went outside of it. You can always zoom in if it proves to be too difficult like it is right now for me. Uh, there we go. So if you need to zoom in, it can help with that. All right, we've got that. Press Escape to deactivate the border uh, painter. So we deactivated it. All right, step H. Click the table move handle. The table move handle is right up here. If it doesn't show up, click on the table first, then do it. Then it says click the table tools layout tab. Table tools layout tab. Click align center in the alignment group. So alignment group here, align center, and it makes it look nicer there. All right, step I. Click any cell in the to deselect the area. So I click any cell to deselect it. Point to the outside left edge of the table between the second and third rows. So first row, second, third, so right here, put the point to the left between the two. Click the insert indicator, that's what this plus sign is, so we're adding in another row. Click in the first cell of row three. So this is our new row three, type five through nine. Press tab, and then type one free Air, oh, let me move my mouse here so you can see it. Aerobics class. And then it says select row one. So I'm not gonna move, I'm gonna move it over here to the left. Click and select row one. Click table tools, design tab. Table tools, design tab. Click the shading arrow. So over here, shading, we're clicking the arrow part. Select green, accent six, darker, 25%. So this one right here. And that says change the font color of the text in row one to white, background one. So we're changing the color to white, background one. All right, step J, we're going through these here pretty quickly. You can always pause if you need to. Press Control and N to go to the end of the document. Click the View tab. Ensure that the ruler is selected. We've got it selected right here in our show group. Press Control, Enter to insert a page break, which we just did. Press enter twice. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. I pushed enter twice. Then we're clicking our home tab. Click heading one, it says. Heading one in the styles group. And then type meet, not met, meet our top losers for the month. Of course, it's not talking about losers as a person, but losers as in weight. It says click center for alignment in the paragraph group. So right here, alignment, center, paragraph group. And then what we're gonna do here 
is we're going to select the heading line so I'll click here to the left and then we're choosing bold text so bold our text here and then it says here change the font color to green accent 6 so green accent 6 if I can find the color there we go <laughs> accent 6 so right here now you notice mine uh, I'm gonna have to go in and change the heading style itself because it's including a bullet point with heading 1 so I'm actually gonna modify that fast um, if you have bullet points in yours um, you need to get rid of them as well so you might need to do that I'm actually let's see here go to paragraph group um, no we're gonna just do it this way for now I'll just press backspace and get rid of the bullet point Oh nope undo that okay so if you need to go to you can change it otherwise um, for now you should be okay so I guess leave it centered for now because um, I don't want to take too much time here in the video getting rid of it. So leave the bullet point there if it's there. If not, make sure heading one is selected. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so now that we've gotten past that, we change the color here to green accent six. Click after the heading line. We've just done that. And then push enter two more times. Okay. okay let me make sure I have it right. Yep, heading one enter twice okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the insert tab and then we're choosing table and we're gonna choose to draw the table so draw the table the pointer appears as a pencil now I'm gonna get rid of the magnifier because for me it's difficult to see it with the magnifier selected so let me click here I've got the pencil it says positioning the insertion point below the heading line drag the box or drag it excuse me says here approximately four inches wide and one and a half inches tall so I'm going to do this here I'm going to start right here line up with my margins it says one and a half inches tall and four inches wide so I'm going to go about four you can see up there at the top ruler for the vertical and then one and a half inches wide so it takes a little bit to line it up so four inches wide one and a half inches tall I draw that I let go and it puts it in there Okay, then draw one vertical grid line about two and a half inches from the left side of the box. So one vertical grid line about two and a half inches. So about right here. Vertical line meaning up and down. So that's there now. Then it says draw two horizontal grid lines to divide the table into three approximately even spaced rows about half an inch each. So you can see I start on the one inch marker here. So I'm going to go to one and a half and click and draw it across. And I'm going to do the same thing at two inches. Click, drag it, draw it across. So just like this. Press escape. It's giving us multiple options here for using our table skills. All right, step L, select row one. So I'm going to click here to the left, just like this, select it, and click merge cells in the merge group. So merge cells. Then it says type top weight so I clicked in my box here tops at weight loss exclamation point complete the remaining table cells as following so I'll push tab typing in Amanda Hill tab 17 tab hands grow tab 24 all right step M we're moving along here still click the design tab under table tools click apply grid table or excuse me, and apply the grid table one light accent six, so table style. So this is grid tables. It says it's row one, column seven, so we can look one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's actually right this time. So first row, column um, seven, click on that. I'm going to get my magnifier back up here for you. I forgot about it. All right, then with the insertion point position at 24, or excuse me, after 24, so it's still there. In the last cell, the last row, press tab. You notice it created a new row for us. We're typing in total, pushing tab again, 
and then it says click the table tools layout tab so up here table tools layout tab again and it says click formula in the data group so data groups over here click formula and then it says we're going to click OK to accept the suggested uh, sum excuse me function so click OK and now you can see it's added up the number for us it gives us the sum step N select rows 2 and 3 so this is my top row 1 rows 2 and 3 the two names click sort in the data group sort and that says click sort by arrow it says sort by arrow right here and it says select column 2 so we're in column 1 right now select column 2 then select descending order right now it's ascending so let's select descending and then click OK you'll notice it switched here last name then it says right click any cell on the table and select table properties so second to the bottom for me might be different from you then it says click center and then click OK and there we go it's aligning with the center of our page alright step O select row 1 click align center in alignment group so align center right here alignment group change the font size to 16 so I'm going to the home tab choosing 16 here click the table tools design tab select the shading arrow don't forget to pause if you need to select green accent 6 so right here then it says change the font color of the text to row one, or excuse me, to uh, white background. So I click the color arrow, white background, and click anywhere to deselect the area. All right, step P, click the table move handle. So I'm selecting the table again. Right click any selected cell, click table properties. And then it says click the row tab. So row tab right up here, row tab. Change the row height to point three so I've got to click up here once and I'm going to click here at, before the quotation mark and type point three and then click OK so it's changed it looks nicer there check your spelling so F7 and it says we're good to go and save the document alright we're going to be starting our mail merge now this is step Q of page 323 click the mailings tab start the mail merge wizard so I'm choosing start mail merge the wizard Let's click step-by-step -step mail merge wizard ensure that le letters is selected that is correct and click next to continue so next it says starting document ensure that you are using the current document right here which we are and then click next select uh, select recipients then step R ensure that use an existing list is selected so we've got that click browse and you're gonna use the list that you saved from plus portal so you're gonna go to downloads and I'm gonna look for my list it's gonna be down here at the bottom W03P2 members right here click open it will have this come up ensure that sheet one is selected which it is and click OK so this comes up now with our new info click sort in the mail merge recipients dialog box so right here we find recipient list sort and then we're going to choose the click the sort by arrow over here and the one we're going to choose it says click city then it says click the then by arrow and choose last name you notice each time we choose sort by, we almost always choose it then by. Both selections should be sorted to an ascending order, which it is, and then click OK. All right, we've got a few steps left here. We're almost done. Hang in there. This is a bit of a longer one, or at least a lot of steps to it. Step T, click filter. So we've just sorted. Let's click filter. Click in the field box, so right here, field, and scroll down till you find pounds lost. It's down at the bottom, pounds lost. Then click in the comparison box. So this is comparison box. And we're changing to greater than or equal. Greater than or equal for the comparison box. Then click in the compare to box and type 10. Click OK. And that says click OK again. 
All right, so we've got it. It's organized how it needs to. Step U, click Next. Write your letter down here. Insert merge fields by completing the following steps. So we're on step four here. It says click before the blank paragraph mark below the date on page one. So I'm going to go to page one. So blank paragraph mark, click before it, the one below the date on page one. So right down here. And that says click address block in the mail merge pane. Click OK to insert the default address block. Place the insertion point at the left of the colon in the salutation letter beginning with dear. So left of the colon. Press space bar. Click more items. And then you're going to choose first name. So first name. Click insert. And then it says click close. Then we're going to press spacebar again and we're going to click more items you're going to select the last name which it's already selected click insert and then close so it should look like this dear space first name space last name alright then it says place the insertion point at the left of the word pounds in the second to last sentence in the first body paragraph so second to last sentence in the first body paragraph and we're clicking at the left of the word. So right here, pounds. And of course it begins with, in fact, you have lost, yeah. Click more items, and then choose pounds lost. So more items, pounds lost. Click insert, click close, and press spacebar. Now it says click next, preview your letters. We're almost there, second to last step, V. Next, complete merge. Then it says click edit individual letters. You're gonna choose all should be selected. You're gonna click OK. And then the letters are shown in this new document titled Letters 1. So we've got our new letters here. It says scroll through the pages to ensure that the five two page letters are included. So you can see I've scrolled through. five two page letters are included now you notice we've got some issues with I think we have an extra page break so I'm actually gonna exit out of this here don't save go back and fix it so if you've got an extra one so it looks like I put a page break on a page break so I've got too many pages here so I'm actually gonna delete this one and it looks like I actually need to delete this one right here so ensure that you end up with just The two pages so I had to go through and fix it yours might have come out right um, if it didn't go through and do what I just did you just get rid of those page breaks all right I'm gonna click edit individual letters again I'm gonna click OK and then um, now it says letters 2 which is fine but you notice I have it looking the way it's supposed to which is fine so um, choose to save the file so file save as it says we need to use a specific name for it um, we're going to I you're gonna save it to your flash drive I'm gonna save it to where I need to and it needs to be W oh, let me move my mouse so you can see it W 0 3 P 2 letter merge underscore your last name and your first name click to save save and close the file this one right here of letters merge blah blah and of course you're also making sure you save this one you're gonna save letter merge is the file I want you to send me so excuse me letter merge is the one I want you to send me if you want to send me both that's fine but letter merge is the one I need good job following along um, that was a bit of a fast pace there for you but you can always pause help you do that and that is how you complete word chapter 3 practice exercise number 2